President Bill Clinton is here with us. So if I was president, and I won't be, let's be honest. <laughs> the first thing I would do after putting my hand on, on that Bible and taking that oath to serve the country is I, would, I wouldn't even probably finish the oath. I would run to the White House. I'd demand to see all the classified files on the UFOs. <laughs> Because I want to know. I'd want to know what has been going on. Did you do that? Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, we had, uh, some t I think it was at the beginning of my second term, we had the anniversary of Roswell. You waited that long? I did. Wow. Well, well I didn't. And then I, there's also Area 51. You remember there was a great sci-fi movie where there was an alien kept deep under the ground yeah. in Area 51? So first I had people go look at the records on Area 51 to make sure there was no alien down there. <laughs> and people thought that because everybody who works there has to stop about an hour away and put on special clothing and then drive in and out. And that's because a lot of our stealth technology is made there. We know that now. And, and, but there are no aliens there. So okay. then I, when the Roswell thing came up, I knew we'd get you know, zillions of letters. So I had all the Roswell papers reviewed, everything. If you saw that there were aliens there, would you tell us? Yeah. You would. I would. I would. Well, I think, look, what do we know? We know now we live in an ever-expanding universe. We know that there are billions of stars and planets literally out there, and the universe is getting bigger. We know from our fancy telescopes that just in the last two years, more than 20 planets have been identified outside our solar system that seem to be far enough away from their suns and dense enough that they might be able to support some form of life. So it makes it increasingly less likely that we're alone. Oh, you're trying to give me a hint that there are aliens. <laughs> no, I'm trying to tell you I don't know. Oh. But if we were visited someday, I wouldn't be surprised. I just hope that uh, it's not like Independence Day. Yeah, right. <laughs> really, that it's, a, you know, a, a conflict. Well, now we have friendly Maybe aliens. the only way to unite this incredibly divided world of ours. They're out there. We better think of how all the differences among people on Earth would seem small if we felt threatened by a space invader. That's the whole theory of Independence You're right. You're Everybody right. Everybody gets together and makes nice and... You know, you and Bill O'Reilly would be hiding in a bunker together. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bill O'Reilly, he'd be every mean thing he ever said about me. That's <laughs> I don't care. Look at that. <laughs>